हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू कवर द टॉप फाइव बूट स्ट्रैप इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन इफ यू आर न्यू टू बूट स्ट्रैप देन डोंट मिस दैम इफ यू आर एक्सपीरियंसड देन जस्ट रिवाइज दैम सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड येस फॉर ए रियल इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस फर्स्ट हियर द क्वेश्चन पॉज द वीडियो देन थिंक अबाउट योर ओन आंसर देन प्ले माई आंसर एंड कंपेयर इट विथ योर्स what is bootstrap what are the other five responsive design frameworks other than bootstrap very simple suppose you have a website that opens on a laptop something like this here we have the website header and then below we have three section columns side by side now bootstrap is the css framework that if you will use then the same website will open something like this on the mobile device here you can see that the columns that were horizontally aligned on the laptop are now automatically aligned vertically the main thing is that you do not have to write a single line of css code for this responsiveness you just have to include the bootstrap framework by adding this url in your html and some of its classes so what's the conclusion Bootstrap is a popular open source front end CSS framework which provides responsiveness and mobile first CSS. Why mobile first? Because now mobile users users are more than big screens users, right? Now remember that Bootstrap is not the only framework for responsiveness. You can also use other responsive frameworks like Foundation Bulma, Semantic UI, Materialize, and tail Tailwind, but use only one at a time for your website, okay? And Bootstrap is the most popular one uh, these nowadays. What are the five advantages of using Bootstrap? Now this is a bit theoretical question, but it is important. Let's see the advantages one by one. first advantage is rapid development of website if you are using bootstrap yes bootstrap provides a wide range of ready to use components like navigation bars buttons forms models and many more this saves developers time and effort in writing code for them from scratch okay second advantage is of course responsive design bootstrap is built with a mobile first approach meaning it prioritizes the designing for uh, smaller screens first and then scales up for larger screens this ensures websites with bootstrap is responsive for every device third advantage is cross browser compatibility meaning bootstrap provides a consistent set of styles and uh, components across different browsers okay so which helps in reducing the cross browser compatibility issues which are there with other css normal css right fourth advantage is large community and support yes there are plenty of resources documentations tutorials forums available for assistance on the internet which makes uh, bootstrap development very easy fifth and last advantage is accessibility meaning bootstrap incorporates best practices for web accessibility uh, like for, for following web accessibility you can create websites that are even usable for people with the disabilities okay that is the meaning of accessibility great that is the answer and here are all the details of the advantages which i already explained just for the later reference hi friends just a small notification this video is part of my full course top 300 java script interview questions including html css and bootstrap all questions pdf book link is also present below in the description so like these candidates if you don't want to miss anything for your interviews then try it otherwise no problem let's continue explain the grid system in bootstrap the grid system is the basis of responsiveness in bootstrap see this as per the grid system you can use six types of column structures for your website 
first a 12 column grid structure for big screens like laptops now bootstrap will automatically convert this 12 horizontal columns or cells into 12 vertical cells uh, on smaller smaller screens uh, like mobile okay so that is responsiveness right similarly a six column grid website for laptop will be converted to one vertical column grid in mobiles and the same goes with four three two column grid structures okay so finally what is the grid system in bootstrap the grid system is a 12 column layout and is designed to adapt to various screen sizes now let me show you the conversion will how it will happen for a two column grid and how it will be displayed on the mobile de device so if you have a two column grid like this for website for laptop big screen then bootstrap convert this two column in the mobile like this and that is the whole purpose of the grid system in bootstrap right now the question is how to implement this for that you have to add the url of the bootstrap in the head of the html file which i already explained in the previous question then in html you have to use this class row for a single row and inside that for two column grids you have to create two columns with call md6 and call md6 classes okay now if you are using three column grid structure then you have to this call md4 class three times similarly four column grid structure go for call md3 class four times and six column grid uh, you have to use call md2 class six times now these classes row and call md6 will be using the bootstrap framework uh, css for responsiveness for the conversion for mobile screens okay so that's the thing great i think now you have a good idea of the grid system in bootstrap right what is the difference between call access sm md lg and excel the difference lies in the target screen or uh, size of the screen for example suppose we are targeting our website for laptops like laptop is the ideal device for our website users okay that's in our mind then we have to use call md or sm classes of bootstrap like this see in this case these two columns will appear perfectly like this in the laptop and in the mobile it will be of course in the vertical manner but if you use call uh, excel class instead of this call md class like this then call excel means the target you are targeting for extra large screens then for call excel class laptop screen is very smaller and therefore the output will be something like this in the vertical format see in your laptop it will it is not right right which is wrong right so for call excel class laptop is is basically of a small size and it needs ideally a big screen like big tv or big screen or something to show it in the horizontal manner so mostly the normal website target for call sm and call md only because these two target uh, uh, tablet tablets or laptop screens now let's see the target screen for other classes here call access applies to extra small si uh, screens phones uh, then call sm applies to smaller screens call md applies to medium screens laptops call lg applies to large screens larger desktops and call excel applies to extra large screens large tvs that is the difference between all of them explain the difference between bootstraps container and container fluid class let me show you a very simple example here is the in the html we have a div with class equal to container of bootstrap okay now when you see the output child elements of the container will be displays uh, displayed at the center of the container right and also some padding will be automatically done on the sides to keep some distance from the edge of the browser page okay some distance is there so so that content should not touch the border of the page so that is the container class of the bootstrap now instead of container class if you will use the container fluid class of bootstrap 
then the child elements of the container will be displayed and aligned to the left of the container with, with a full width layout full width means no padding will be done to keep some distance from the edges of the page page 100 percent width will be there and content can be extended to the edges of the screen okay so depending on your requirement you can use any one of the class between them and that is the difference between the two and the same thing is written here for later reference congratulations for completing all the questions as i always said most students study to just learn but you don't have to just learn you also have to crack the interview and facing interviews need courage for that courage and spirit all the best from my side and yes if you have not yet accepted the never give up challenge until you crack the interview then accept the challenge now by writing never give up in the comment section and yes don't forget to like and subscribe the channel thank you